in the city of Fond du Lac are forced out of their homes this morning as large amounts of ice pile up under city bridges and created what some residents say is the worst flooding in recent memory. Our Evan Peterson is live downtown where a lot of people are looking for shelter tonight. Yeah, that's right, guys. Over 200 people are, have been displaced as a result of this flooding. But a lot of the residents I spoke with say that for the past couple weeks, they've been asking for two primary things. They want it, one, to warm up, and two, for a lot of this snow to melt. And as you can see beside me, that happened today, and it created a lot of problems. Treading through chest deep water. Snowmobile boots, snowmobile helmet. Corey Krupp is assessing the damage on his parents' home. Just to see all their stuff, their personal belongings, um, floating. It's crazy. His parents just left for a three week vacation. They are actually in Florida on vacation for their three weeks that they go down every year. Only to cancel the trip and return home to this. major flooding across the city of Fond du Lac, the result of a series of ice jams under the city's main bridges. We've had ice shoves out on the river that have caused a lot of problems for us, a lot of quick melting snow, which is also adding to our troubles. Hundreds of people have been evacuated and displaced along the river's edge. I wouldn't be out here if I didn't have to be out here. With some heading to higher ground, others trudge through it. My original plan was to come to the Y, but of course, the road was flooded out, so I parked on the other side of the flood, took my shoes off, and crossed over. A problem of too much too quickly. The water down here is the same level as it is outside. Leaving guys like Corey. We can't really do anything now until the water resides. In desperate need of drying off. And here is a look at the problem as it currently sits, or I should say flows down the river. This is the final Lac River behind me, and it is so saturated. You can see it's just swelling off to the sides, and if it can't make it under this bridge, which is all the ice next to me, it's because crews just recently cleared it. What happens is all this water pushes off onto the streets either side are downtown. So uh, taking a few words here from the fire chief, he says, if you don't have to be around this, don't be. Be someplace warm and someplace dry. Reporting live this evening in the city of Fond du Lac. I'm Evan Peterson, Fox 6 News. What a mess. You just feel for those homeowners. Evan, thank you. Flooding.